day everybody. Thanks for joining me. I'm Carla from Cathedral Art School and today's video art tutorial is going to be watercolor wood bead necklaces. So if you have your kit at home, get everything out and get ready to go. Let's create. Okay, let's get started. So in your kit, uh, you would have found a bag with our logo on it, full of beads. And in that little package of beads, you'll also find your string for stringing your necklace, as well as a variety of wooden beads in different sizes. And these are all raw wood, so they don't have any coating on them, which means they're going to absorb the paint really, really well. Um, you also have three containers of liquid watercolor paint. So this paint is really highly pigmented, so the colors are gonna be really nice and bright. Um, and they uh, are also non-toxic and washable. So even if you get them on your hands, um, you may get a little staining from the pigment. Um, they are non-toxic and you'll be good to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by painting all of our wooden beads. Um, so I got started on this one. Um, so you can see I started with some blue and some red. Um, so all I'm going to do is dip my brush into my paint. And I'm going to start by just swirling that color around on my bead. And because these are raw wood, they absorb the paint really, really well. So you can see it's soaking in really nice. The nice thing about watercolor is you can layer watercolor. So you really wanna layer lots of color on there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red. I'm putting it right on top of my blue. So you can see I get some nice red tones and I also get some really nice purple tones in there as well. I'm gonna let that guy dry for a little bit. Move on to the next one. I think for this guy, we're gonna do some yellow. Maybe add a little bit of red, see if we can get some orange in there. Maybe a little dash of blue too. Okay, set that guy over and let him dry. So you're gonna just carry on painting all your beads. Maybe after they dry a little bit, you might notice that there was little spots that you missed. You can always go back and repaint. Or maybe you want your colors to be a little bit more intense. You can always add more paint to them after. And you've got lots of paint, so you can paint a lot of beads with what you've got in your kit. <clears throat> okay. All right, so let's put it all together. So here is what I've got started so far. So I've taken that biggest bead that I painted and I added that to my necklace first. And then I started with a little selection of some of my smaller plastic pony beads and added them on either side. And then I'm gonna continue on making my little pattern where I'm gonna go with a painted bead and then fill in a few plastic ones and kind of carry on from there. I think a sparkly one would be nice. So there's what I've got so far. So you can use your entire package of beads for one necklace if you like, you know, the whole thing to be really, really full of beads, or if you just wanna do a few at the end and have a little cluster at the end like that, you can stop there and call it a day. Um, if you have extra string at home, you'll definitely have tons of beads 
uh, to be able to make more than one necklace. If you like it really full, fill it right up. You've got enough beads there to really uh, make a nice full necklace out of. Um, if you're doing a full necklace and you're putting as many beads on as you can, just make sure that you leave enough string at the end so that you can tie a good knot in it uh, so it's not gonna come apart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project and have fun creating.